Hi everyone. I'm back from Ottawa and I wanted to take a moment to say thank you. I want to thank you for your persistence and commitment over the years to make sure that your union walked the talk of reconciliation and decolonization and that we took part in the inquiry. I want to thank you for creating safe spaces for your sisters, brothers and friends to share their truth. For having the resilience and strength to speak your truth and share your lived experiences as victims and survivors, as family and friends, as Indigenous people and allies, as frontline working people and activists. Walking this path with you has been transformative for me. As a woman, a mother and an activist, I was humbled and honoured to carry your message and your recommendations to the Commissioners. And I want you to know, they heard you. Your perspective was unique, your stories were compelling, your recommendations made an impact. After delivering our submission, during the daily closing ceremony on Wednesday, Chief Commissioner Buller said that our submission was very interesting and had given her a lot to think about. Commissioner Robinson thanked me for making sure that the inquiry heard from workers and Elder Rita Gordon in her closing prayer, she spoke with tears in her eyes about how she could now look out and see that there were non-Indigenous people working hard to help. I left Ottawa with a profound sense of gratitude, a real and resonant hope for the future and a strong resolve that our union can and must do more to overcome the devastating impacts of colonization, to advance the causes of true reconciliation, and to raise up our Indigenous brothers, sisters, families, and friends. So thank you for putting your union on this path. I look forward to reading the Commission's final report and recommendations. But more than that, I look forward to continuing the work that you've started, regardless of what that report contains.